Please check your answers to the UTRA here at the top. If you have no questions, please move on to the last section, which I promise will be much shorter. If you do have questions, please stick around and we'll go over the problems. I'm going to stop. Number 5a, cosine of 160 degrees. So if we draw a 160 degree angle, and the reference angle is going to be between the x-axis and that terminal ray. If this is 160 degrees, then the reference angle has got to be 20 degrees. So the cosine for 160 is going to equal the same thing as the cosine of 120. We just have to decide, I'm sorry, it's the cosine of plain old 20. We just have to decide, is that going to be a positive answer or a negative answer? Cosines are the x's. We are to the left of center. So that's going to make our cosine be negative over in the second quadrant here. For number two, I'm sorry, for the second part of number five, five B, cosine of 182. Well, 180 and just past that, 182. Which means our reference angle is going to be between this terminal ray and this part of the x-axis. So our reference angle is 2 degrees. So the cosine of 2 degrees is going to have to be the same as the cosine of 182. So our cosine of 182 degrees is going to equal the cosine of 2 degrees. We just have to decide will it be positive or negative. Cosines are like the x's. They move left and right. If we are to the left of the origin, the x values are negative. On part C, cosine of 110 degrees, negative 110 degrees, that's a big difference. So negative 90, negative 110 may be here somewhere. Sorry, it's supposed to be 110 degrees. Our reference angle is going to be between here and the x-axis. This is 180 degrees, positive or negative. This is negative 110. Our reference angle here is 70 degrees. So the cosine of negative 110 is going to have to equal the cosine of 70. We just have to decide will it be a positive or a negative. Well right here in the third quadrant both the x values and the y values are negative. Cosines are the x's, they're negative, so this will be a negative cosine of 70 degrees. Our last one in this sequence, 365 degrees. So we're going to go all the way around the circle, plus another 5 degrees. Well, our reference angle is going to get squeezed in here this is going to be our reference angle. Between the x-axis, that extra 5 degrees is our reference angle. So the cosine of 365 degrees is going to equal the cosine of plain old 5 degrees. We just have to decide, will it be positive or negative? Well, we are here in the first quadrant. Everybody's positive in the first quadrant. So that's where we get the cosine of, the positive cosine of 5 degrees. On number 11, 
Now this is where they want us to know our trig values. So the cosine of 60 degrees, first quadrant, is just going to be the cosine of 60 degrees. But they're expecting that we know by now 60 degrees cosine coming down from the pinky. So that would be the square root of 1 over 2. So the cosine of 60 degrees equals the square root of 1 divided by 2, or we could just say 1 half. Cosine of 120 degrees. So we're going past 90, and we need to make a reference angle between this terminal ray and the x-axis. It needs to be an acute angle. We can't use this one because that's not an acute angle. So if this is 120, and this we know is 180, then the reference angle must be 60. So the cosine value for 60 is going to have to work for 120. So the cosine of 120 degrees is going to be the same as the cosine of 60. And that equals 1 half. But we have to decide, is it going to be a positive 1 half or negative 1 half? Our terminal ray came out through here. Second quadrant. The cosine values are the x's. We're over to the left of the origin. So that makes our x values, our cosine values, negative. Cosine of 240 on part C. So we go past 90, past 180, 240's down here somewhere. It does not make it to 270. And our reference angle, I can't fit the whole 240 in here. Our reference angle is going to have to be between the x-axis and this terminal ray. Okay, well this is 180. This whole angle down to here is 240. That makes our reference angle 60 degrees. So the cosine of 240 is also going to be the same as the cosine of 60 degrees. But we're going to have to decide, is it a positive or a negative? Coming out in the third quadrant here, the x's are negative, so the cosine of 240 is going to be the opposite of the cosine of 60. It's going to be the opposite of 1 half. Finally, 300 degrees. We whirl past 90, 180, 270. 300 degrees here. Our reference angle is going to be between this terminal ray and the x-axis. So our reference angle is 60 degrees. Which, getting kind of tired of this 60 here. So we know that the cosine of 300 is going to have to be the same as the cosine of 60 degrees. It's either going to be 1 half, or it's going to have to equal negative 1 half. Well, in this location, fourth quadrant, the x values, the cosine values, are to the right of center. They are positive. So this is going to be positive 1 half this time. Number 13 only drew two circles because they were asking about the same angles. So 330 degrees. They want both the sine and the cosine. 
330 degrees is going to be all the way around past 270, about here. A little bit more, maybe. Now, it would be 360. So our reference angle this time, in between, if this could stay propped up here, in between our terminal ray and the x-axis, our reference angle is 30. So the sine and cosine value for 330 are going to be the same as the sine and cosine value for plain old 30 degrees. We just have to decide whether those values are positive or negative. Okay, the cosine of 30 degrees, the sine of 30 degrees. We can try the old finger trick again. 30 degrees is here. The sine value is 1. So 1 finger, so it's the square root of 1 over 2, which is going to be 1 half. The cosine for 30 degrees, coming down from pinky, we have 3 fingers. So the cosine is going to be the square root of 3 divided by 2. We just have to decide in this location will the sine value be positive or negative? Well, the sine values of the y's, we are down below the origin, so the sine value is negative. It's going to be a negative 1 half. In this location, the cosine value those are the x's. We are to the right of the origin, so the cosine value is going to be a positive square root of 3 over 2. Finally, 7 pi over 6. Well, 7 pi over 6 is the same as 1 and 1 sixth pi's. So I can come around. We can come around half a pi. This is a whole pi. A sixth of a pi is going to be, I don't know, maybe around here somewhere. Seven pi over six. Our reference angle right here between the terminal ray and the x-axis, our reference angle It's just going to be pi over 6. Now, if you don't like pi over 6, we can change it. We can change it into degrees. Pi is 180 degrees. Divided by 6, that would make this a 30 degree angle. Which it does look like it's pretty small there. So the sine and cosine values that work for 30 are going to work for 7 pi over 6. And we already know the sine and cosine values for 30. We've got them right here. In this location, in the third quadrant, sine value is negative. We're down below center. Cosine value is also negative because we're to the left of the origin. So the sine is going to be negative what the sine value of 30 degrees is, the cosine is going to be the negative of the cosine of 30 degrees. And that's where we get our answers. If you have more questions, please contact your teacher. And also, please move on to the next slide.